Hundreds gathered to bid their final goodbyes to Dr. Wee Cho Yao at UOB Plaza this afternoon. The former chairman and CEO of the Singapore Bank died on Saturday, aged 95. Lauren Ong has more. It's just after lunch hour, but the streets at the heart of the business district are still packed. Many came in droves to catch a final glimpse of one of Singapore's last banking giants from the 20th century. Here at the headquarters of the empire he built, there were people inside and outside the building. Many waited for as long as an hour. But the light commotion soon fell into silence as Dr. Wee Cho Yao's cottage arrived just after 3 p.m. The hearse followed by the vehicles carrying his family. His five children acknowledge employees and the public. The emotion was clear to see. The only words came from the funeral director. She thanked the bank staff on the family's behalf. The employees were urged to continue Dr. Wee's legacy. So let us continue to uphold his values and carry on his legacy with honor, enterprise, commitment and unity. Then a minute of silence before the crowd paid their final respects. The hearse then made its way to the Mandai crematorium. Some of his staff shared the impact the man made on their lives. Have passion in your job so that when you succeed, then you will have to lead other people and show yourself as an example to them. So this was my first memory of him, that he gave me this advice, and I still remember up to today. I'm deeply saddened of his passing, but remembering him and what he stands for really touched me to the core, because he was a man of strong values. It was then back to business minutes after the proceedings ended, but the somber tone continued as many took a moment at this entrance to remember Dr. Wee. Some took pictures while others gave a nod as they entered the building. The banking tycoon helmed the bank for more than 60 years. It now has presence in 19 countries and territories. A titan of Singapore's banking industry, a transformative leader. That's how Singapore's leaders have described him.